Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and it is Saturday, April 23rd, which means we are officially one week away from Zaya's backyard pool mermaid under the sea birthday party that had to be postponed because the pool wasn't ready and it's happening next Saturday and we're one week away. Good news is the crew is out there right now working on the patio. I thought we were just gonna have an unfinished patio as far as like the concrete texture. I thought that was just gonna have to be left unfinished for the party, which wouldn't have been a huge deal. Surprisingly, they were able to squeeze me in. So they're working on that now. Let me give y'all a quick rundown. First of all, if you have not seen the previous vlog that I did showing myself planning this party, shopping for stuff, getting all that preliminary stuff done, definitely go watch that previous vlog. But as of today, like I said, they're working on finishing the patio and everything with the pool. There's still like a few more things that need to be done to make the backyard ready and able to be used for the party. I, it's not gonna be 100% done. The backyard transformation is not going to be 100% done for the party. So don't expect that. It's just going to be done up to a point where it's functional and usable and looks decent enough to host a party back there. So it's a little bit of stuff that needs to be done with the patio, a little bit of stuff that needs to be done with the pool itself, a little bit of stuff that needs to be done with the landscaping. And we're just trying to get it up to a certain, you know, functional level. That's all I'm hoping for. And we got seven days and we should be on track. There's that. As for the party, I did end up finding a bakery to do the custom cake. Cake. almost couldn't find one because everybody was booked up so that's already been ordered that's in the works we'll pick up the cake on the day of the party I did get the table rentals was having trouble with that got that tables will be picked up on the morning of the party I got a bunch of like different tables and tablecloths so I can have extra you know surfaces to set things up for the party I did not hire a professional party decorator or balloon person I decided that I am going to do the decorations and all the balloons and the garland and everything myself that could be a bad idea I I might regret that but I feel confident and I should have help from my mom my little sister and possibly a new member to the RETV team by then I am hopefully supposedly allegedly going to be hiring a new let's say we're gonna call it the executive assistant personal assistant executive assistant this is something I've been talking about in my vlogs for a while now my little sister used to kind of play this role but I really needed to hire more help on the team so so I think we're gonna be having her start on Monday, which means that I should have her help throughout this next week leading up to the party. So that would be really helpful, especially with like the balloons and stuff. Since the last vlog, I have continued to purchase supplies and decorations and food and just all types of stuff. I'm hiding it in this office so that Zaya doesn't see everything. I mean, not that it's a surprise party altogether, but I do kind of want her to be mostly surprised with all the stuff that I'm doing for the party. So I've tried to organize everything into categories. So this is like the bubbles, toys, pool toys, like the pool water activities basket. I have all types of stuff in here, different toys like fishing games and pool toys and floaties and bubbles. And I got this inflatable mermaid splash pad thing. It's kind of like a super shallow baby pool, like sprinkles water and like the babies can splash around in it. Cause I have a variety of different age children coming so I wanted something for the babies and I got these floaties and bubbles and toys and the bubble blaster so all that type of like water stuff is organized into there this is all of the tableware plates napkins forks cups this is the balloon section so this whole bag is full of all the different colors of balloons and materials that I need to do all the balloon garlands and stuff that I'm gonna be DIYing I got two of these so hopefully this works never tried this before I'm really Really being pretty ambitious when it comes to the balloon decorations. I can do it. I believe in myself. I was testing this out, you know, <laughs> we're just gonna have to work it out. This box is like additional decorations and supplies for decorations. So I found these at the Dollar Tree, these little wooden cutouts, which I just thought would be cute to paint them and put them somewhere for decorations. Rope and seashells and streamers and tablecloths and just all types of stuff to decorate. And I also got this insulation foam, which if you watch my Christmas decorating videos last year. You know that I used a ton of this insulation foam to create all of the like whipped cream, icing, gingerbread, life-size decorations that I did for Christmas. I'm going to use this to 
make like coral sculptures, I think, I hope. Stay tuned. <laughs> I have a vision. Okay, so stay tuned. This is all of the non-perishable food items that I was able to get in advance. So I got all these different types of goldfish. I've got candy, I've got blue jello, all the supplies for like the snack table, candy table that I'm gonna be doing. I got a few more things for the decorating the treasure chest thing. And I did also get a few more gifts for Zaya as well. You saw in the other vlog, I gave her a few gifts on her actual birthday, but I got some clothes and a few more little toys to give to her at her party. And I already had these cute mermaid gift bags to put them in. Everything is on theme. And then I went digging through all of my old party stuff that I saved from all five of her previous birthdays. And I found some stuff that I could probably use. These are just like lanterns and little paper decorations that I could probably mix in. This is some gold letters that spell out her name that I could maybe use. I had all these gold Mardi Gras bead necklace things, which I think would be cute to incorporate with the treasure chest, like for the treasure. I even had these lays left over from something, which we've never had an ocean or mermaid. We have never had a party that went with this theme. So I don't even know where these came from, but I had them. And then I also had these lanterns from her first birthday party. And then I went into my glam room and I pulled out some glam glitter because I want to do like a, a body glitter tattoo station at the party. You know, kind of like instead of face painting, kind of like face painting, but you know what I mean? You get some glitter on your face or glitter on your body and then these little temporary mermaid tattoos. So I pulled some stuff from my glam room to use for that. I probably even have more stuff that I can pull for that little station. There's a couple of things like the DIY decorations that I can definitely get started on making those. Even today I can start on it, but a lot of the stuff is really just going to be the the night before and the day of the party. Like all the balloons have to be done at max the night before, laying everything out. You really can't do much it's too far in advance. Like mainly everything needs to be done the night before. So that's the only stressful part. But like I said, I should have help. It is Monday, T minus five days until the party. And it is pouring down rain, which is bad for two reasons. Cause when it's raining, they can't work outside. They can't do anything when it's raining. That's like a delay. And then also if it's deciding that it's gonna be rainy weather this week, that's not gonna be good for the pool party. Now, I checked the other day and it said that it was gonna be beautiful, sunny, 94 degrees on the day of the party. So it should be perfect, like hot summer weather. No chance of rain. But now today it's rainy. So hopefully this weather passes. Hopefully it doesn't continue to be rainy throughout the week because I need the weather to clear up so that they can come back out here and finish the job. And of course I don't want it to be raining on the day of the party either. The stress. It is Tuesday, April 26th. Again, the party is on Saturday, four days away. The concrete guys and the sprinkler guys just left. They were here at the same time, trying to work at the same time, and they were clashing with each other. I did not know they were gonna be here at the same time. The concrete guys literally told me that they have three more steps to do. So they're coming tomorrow to do one step that has to dry overnight, and then Thursday to do another step that has to dry overnight, and then Friday to do the last step. So so literally they are going to be finishing up the patios on Friday and the party is the next day. So we have zero room for error, zero room for rain getting in the way because if it rains, they can't do it. How did this happen? How did we go from what I think we started with 26 days total when I first started like talking about this? How did we go from 26 days is more than enough time, way more than enough time to they are literally going to be finishing the project the day before the party, of course. But manifesting, they are going to finish. They are going to finish the day before the party and the party is gonna be fine because it's gonna be finished the day before the party, manifesting. So that's a little bit stressful. Also, I was trying to like do something with my sprinklers so I could like get started with the landscaping so parts of the landscaping can be done and all pretty for the party. The, like I said, the concrete guy and the sprinkler guys were clashing with each other. So the sprinkler guy was not able to do what he needed to do today. And he's actually not gonna be able to do what he needs to do until the concrete guys 
are finished, but the concrete guys are not gonna be finished until the day before the party. So the sprinkler guy really can't do anything until after the party. So I don't think I will be able to have any plants planted for the party, which is a bit disappointing. There's a slim chance that I might be able to, might not be able to. So anyways, that's just what's going on as far as the construction of the backyard. Overall, everything, the important stuff, the main stuff that has to be done should be done the day before the party. We will keep watch over the next three days. It is Wednesday, April 27th. I was at home trying to work on multiple different things. I actually have a new member to the RETV team who started today, my new executive assistant. It's perfect timing because she is coming in just in time to kind of like help with setting up stuff for the party and everything like that. So we were kind of getting her oriented and acclimated at the house and there's just so much going on. The people who were working on the patio came earlier, did that next step. So we we're looking like we're on track for them to do the last two steps tomorrow and Friday to be done by Friday, so that's good. But unfortunately, in the midst of all that, I get a call from Zaya's teacher saying that she is not feeling well at school and asking me to come pick her up. So I'm just like, ugh, you know, I never want Zaya to be sick, period, but especially not when we're like counting down the last couple of days to her birthday party. Like to think that I get the whole party together and then she ends up being sick. That would just be horrible. So fingers crossed that it's nothing. <laughs> fingers crossed that it's just, it, it passes quickly. She doesn't have a fever or anything like that. They said that she's just, she has like a cough. And it's weird because she was not coughing last night not coughing this morning but all of a sudden at school she's coughing really bad we gonna cross our fingers we're gonna manifest that she's fine we're gonna just give her some cough syrup we're gonna have her relax and take a nap and drink plenty of fluids today and we are going to hope that she wakes up tomorrow feeling fresh as a daisy the stress Okay, so update, I don't think Zaya is severely sick. She's in good spirits, no fever. A little bit of a cough and a runny nose, probably just like a little bit of a cold. I think she will be fine. I wanted to show her her outfit options for the party and also show my outfit. <laughs> Got an on theme ensemble as well. I need to like do some DIYing to mine and I don't even know if this stuff, I didn't open it yet to see if it fits. So I found this swimsuit, Zaya. It's three pieces. It has a shiny purple top with blue straps, matches the color scheme of the party. These are the little bikini bottoms with the mermaid scales, cute, shiny. And then it also came with a skirt to go over it, which I thought was cute, you like this? But then I had already found this at Target. This is like a longer mermaid swim cover up skirt. Maybe. <laughs> what do you think? Like you like all of it? Here, try this on, on top of your leggings real quick. Cause this is a 5T, this is the only one they had. And then they have these flip flops at Dollar Tree that are mermaid. And then for mine, I wanted to do something on theme, but <laughs> okay, so here's my vision. Hear me out. I have these pink flare leg pants because you know, I was trying to give mermaid tail vibes with the pants or I didn't want to wear a skirt. I didn't want to wear a full mermaid costume or like a swimsuit or like, you know, I wanted to be kind of comfortable and a little bit modest, you know? So I thought pants would be a good choice. I know, green would probably make more sense for a mermaid tail, but the color scheme of the party is more pink and purple and blue, not really green. So I don't know, and I like pink. So hopefully this will kind of give mermaid vibes. I'm wanting to like put pearls and rhinestones and stuff, like bedazzle it, like how I did your costume. Yeah, gems, because we have a lot of leftover stuff from your Halloween costume. So I could add some razzle dazzle to the pants. And I also got this purple seashell swimsuit top, but I didn't necessarily just want to be wearing this for the whole party. So I got a mesh, long sleeve nude mesh shirt that I wanted to like be dazzle, like put pearls and rhinestones and stuff all on the arms. So I would wear this with this on top. So I would be a little bit more covered up and have like the bedazzling and then the pants. <laughs> so it's definitely not your average everyday outfit. It's definitely kind of like a costume. I love a good theme. I also have a blonde wig that I kind of have been wanting to experiment with pink hair dye anyway. So I think I'm gonna dye my wig pink and have pink hair. And then I had an idea for your hair not dye it, but I could get some pink and purple braiding hair and try to do some braids with the color hair mixed in. So you would have like pink and purple highlights in your hair. What if we get like pink and purple and blue attachments to attach in my hair? Yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. So it won't be actually coloring your hair, but it'll just be like fake hair that we attach um, to your hair. That's what we used to this brush. And it was like a something they bought, but nothing for daddy. 
had this brush and it was like chalk on it and then yeah hair chalk that doesn't really work too good on dark colored hair i don't think but we'll figure out a way to add some color and some razzle dazzle to your hair so we'll have pink purple blue hair in our mermaid outfits it is now thursday and i'm starting my morning by dyeing this wig this is a blonde wig that i've had for a few years now so for the party i want to dye it pink like a cute light pink color i have these three dyes i have kiss temptation in dusty rose and also in rose gold and then i have arctic fox in frosé probably just gonna mix all of these together see what i come up with i'm doing the watercolor method which is where you fill a container with very hot water put your dye in the water make a water dye solution and dunk your wig in there i've done this only once before for my orange wig that i did and it turned out pretty good i really want like a soft pink color i don't want it to be like bright bubblegum pink but honestly if it turns out bubblegum pink oh well i mean i mainly just wanted to do this for the mermaid party so if it's a little bit bold hey it's a mermaid party but i'm hoping it turns out kind of like soft and cute because i actually am rushing around this morning because i have some sponsored content due today that i haven't even filmed yet and so i need to like dye the wig dry the wig install the wig style the wig do my makeup shoot the sponsored content edit the sponsored content and submit the sponsored content by this afternoon so i'm really hoping this wig turns out cute so i could like just go ahead and do my hair for the sponsored content otherwise i'm gonna have to do something else with my hair for the sponsored content then chant into the wig tomorrow for the part so it's just hoopla hoopla and mayhem as usual this water is like almost boiling now adding in some of the dusty rose just want to get a nice pink solution basically doing like half a bottle of each one the arctic fox is not wanting to dissolve it's a different like consistency it doesn't work as well for this method probably do like this whole bottle of rose gold actually all right i got my little dye solution i think if anything it's not gonna be dark enough pigmented enough but we will see okay it's definitely giving rose gold because the wig was a little brassy so it kind of had that golden base to it and then with the pink over it it's making like rose gold which is cute, I like it so far. You can literally see that the wig is like soaking up all the pigment out of the water because now the water is like turning clear. Okay, so here she is. She's looking very rose gold, very cute, very dusty rose. Um, I'm just doing a little cold water conditioner bath now. A little bit of cold water, a lot of conditioner, wet in the hair, soak it up, condition for a little bit. I'll rinse with cold water and then try to dry and install and style her in lightning speed because I do not have time. Good morning, y'all. It is Friday, the day before the party. The wig is pink. I didn't get a chance to get a clip yesterday when it was all like nicely styled and everything with the makeup, but this is the color. I'm gonna be bummy today because today is all about party prep. And my new assistant, Katarina, you guys will probably meet her soon enough. She's on her way. She'll be here any minute now to help me with the party prep. My mom is also on her way. Chef Tony, of course, is helping me with the food. And I think Taylor is also gonna come over today and help with stuff. So today is going to just be a full day of party prep. I've been keeping an eye on the weather because at first when I checked the 10 day weather forecast 10 days ago, it said it was gonna be sunny, 94 degrees, just perfect hot sunny weather. Then as we get closer, it keeps changing and it keeps being like, oh, it's, it might rain. Oh, it's not gonna rain. Well, it might rain a little bit. No, it's not gonna rain. Right now it says not gonna rain. Low of 69, high of 86. So we went from 94 down to 86 degrees. 86 degrees is still warm, of course, and my pool is heated. So I was trying to make sure that the heater was going and, and working yesterday, but I think there might be some sort of issue with it because the pool guy came over yesterday. He said he needs to come back today, do something with it. And then they're also finishing up the patio today. We are down to literally the last day. They're still working on the patio. Pool guy is still messing with the pool to make sure it's up and running. I'm just trying to keep an eye on the weather. I think we're good though because I really don't think it's going to be raining tomorrow. If it does, it might like sprinkle in the morning, but it should be pretty sunny and pretty warm by the time the party starts. So fingers crossed on that.
fully in action. Making progress. Look at all the balloons and floaties. You see the color scheme coming together. Look at all these balloons that I'm about to start trying to do the balloon garland with. Katarina did a great job prepping everything. Cups and utensils and toys and stuff are all unwrapped and prepped, so that's done. This has a hole in it, which is so annoying. I got this off of Amazon. It's like a little splash pad, and there is a hole right here, so we're gonna see if we can fix it. Like I said, I'm about to start the main balloons. Katarina did this, a little jellyfish, so cute. And Taylor is over here making kelp. <laughs> It looks cute. It is cute. Yeah. Okay, now we have the team on clamshell cookie duty. Here's the inspo. Mm -hmm. And look, Taylor's so good at it. She made it look just like the picture. How cute. We're trying it. So it's just Nilla wafers, frosting, and I got little white gumballs for the pearl. And we're also doing pink frosting over here. And then we'll just refrigerate these for tomorrow. I am working on the balloon garland. I actually made some progress. I still need to fix this up, but this is like the little pillar for the number six. Got my balloon pump so I can do two at a time like this. <laughs> out but they're like not wanting to go around so oh well the professionals make them like perfect circles and I don't know how they do that then you tie two balloons together like this then you get two up two and you twist them together like this and that gives you a cluster Okay, so Taylor left about an hour ago. Katarina just left for the day. It's just me now, but we made good progress. I'm making progress with the balloon garlands. I have these big chunks done over here. I did these two little thingies over here, which turned out cute. We have some jello with sharks in it setting up the little clamshells in here. I have to make another batch of those jello cups. All the rest of the other balloons and inflatables are blown up. I just have all these balloons because I'm making a bunch of these balloon garlands to like go everywhere. So I will pretty much be working on balloons for the rest of the day and that'll be about all I can prep today. Everything else just needs to be set up tomorrow. The pool people are here. So the concrete people, they came this morning and they did what they needed to do as far as like finishing off the surface of the patio. So here on the main patio, as well as all the surrounding concrete around the pool they had to like fill in the grout and do the final coat of sealant and everything so they got that done they finished up about i want to say almost two hours ago but then they were like okay so we're done but just you know be really careful you're really not supposed to put anything on it or walk on it for 36 hours so it can cure and i'm like 36 hours we barely got like exactly 24 hours until the party at this point party starts at two o'clock tomorrow of course we were wanting to set the furniture up set the tables up you know ahead of time I was planning on doing that first thing in the morning. So that wouldn't even be 24 hours of cure time. But yeah, they're like kind of telling us now like, oh, you really shouldn't like walk on it or put anything on it for as long as possible. And I'm like, well, how long can we really get away with? Because we can wait as long as we can, like before the party tomorrow to put the furniture. That'll be at what? Like maybe we could push it to 1 p.m. That's like barely 24 hours of cure time. And of course I don't want to like ruin my fresh new concrete. They just, they never mentioned that. Like I. I've told them like so many times, like I'm having a party, I'm having a party, I'm having a party. Like they know what's going on. They know what I'm trying to do. They not once ever mentioned, oh, it needs 36 hours to set. Cause like a lot of times with stuff like that, they tell you a longer period just to be safe. If they say 36 hours, really 24 hours would probably be fine type of thing. So I'm trying to see, is it something like that? Or like, are we going to ruin the concrete tomorrow? Like tell me straight up. And he's not really giving me a clear answer. <laughs> That's kind of the main hang up right now. We can't even walk on it at all right now like right now it's still like wet we'll have to see tomorrow okay it is 4 44 p.m i have a few more minutes before i need to go pick up zaya from school and this is what i've gotten done i have these two columns mermaid tail seashell i don't know i'm just freestyling it and i have those two smaller ones that i did i have this long cluster i think i'm gonna do this horizontally on top of the like waterfall of the pool somehow maybe 
so I'm just leaving that like that. I have more of these mermaid tail things and a lot more of these seashells. And honestly, I just have like a lot more <laughs> balloons. So I think I might just make a few more columns like this, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm doing regular plain kids jello cups. They're gonna be in these like slightly bigger little cups with the blue gummy sharks and the blue jello. And then I'm gonna make actual alcoholic jello shots in these smaller little ones that you normally do for jello shots. And I might, I'll, I'll see what candy I put in there. The sharks actually might be too big. I might put some like Swedish fish or something in there. And I will definitely be keeping these separate and labeled at the party so that we don't get confused and give the kids alcohol. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to add one shark to the bottom of each kid's jello cup and then just pour the jello over it. If I wanted it to be fancy, I could try to make the shark float in the middle by like doing half jello, wait for it to set, then put the shark, then put the other half of jello on top. But that's like really just doing too much right now. So we're gonna just do it to where the shark is at the bottom. You still are able to see it, so it's fine. Update, it is nine o'clock at night. I am multitasking, making jello, and still blowing up balloons. I decided that I wanted to decorate some Rice crispy treats, add that into the to-do list. I still need to bedazzle my outfit for tomorrow. So finishing the balloons, finishing the jello, do the Rice crispy treats, bedazzle my outfit. It's nine o'clock at night, stay tuned. Okay, for the Rice crispy treats, I got these little kind of mini size Rice Krispies from Walmart, and I got blue candy melts. I'm gonna melt it down and then do like a half dip and then make pink mermaid shapes with the silicone mold. I'm really just doing this because I wanted to use this and I didn't have anything else that I was gonna use it for. So I'm gonna do this. Hopefully it'll set up, I think, right? Will it, hopefully? I haven't had good experience trying to use these in the past, so this is a very YOLO moment. Yeah, I also have these little gemstone sprinkles, blue sparkly sprinkles, which I think would be cute on top. We are gonna see. paper down on this tray. I think that's a good melty consist. I don't want to do it too much because I know it'll kind of like seize up. I'm gonna do like a little half dunk. Dunk and shake, dunk and shake, dunk and shake. Right now. Oh cute. So this is supposed to look like the beach. Like the rice is the sand, the blue is the ocean coming up to the shore. Cute. Look how cute so far. Okay, so here are my little dipped crispies and I added these little sugar sprinkles on the edge of the water for like, you know, the ocean foam effects. You know what I mean? Little sparkle to the ocean water. And now I'm going to pour the pink candy melts into this mold and I hope it sets up to a firm little piece of candy. But I've never done this before, so. I think this hardens, like when you let it cool, I think it will harden all the way. Do I need to like spray it with something? Girl, I do not know. It's silicone, right? I don't need to spray it. These molds are so tiny. Okay, I ended up kind of just like dumping it all over and then using the skewer to like scrape across it to get all the excess off. I feel like I've seen people do that, like professionals do that before with these molds. I don't know. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. I'm gonna, I guess, put it in the fridge or the freezer and hope that it hardens. I put them in the freezer for like mm, 20 minutes and I think they're firm now. Will they come out in one piece is the question. Look, I did it. Not bad for my first time. Cute. So cute and gorgeous. This is already dry though. Maybe I'll just do like a little dollop of warm icing on the back. Remember this stuff from my Christmas decorations? Okay, here are all my little random coral pieces and I'm gonna let them completely dry and then I'm gonna spray paint them. Not accurate coral colors, but colors that match the party. Good morning. 
It's party day, new day, same top, 7.26 a.m. I would have woken up earlier because there's still a lot to do, but I didn't go to sleep until after 2 a.m. because I was working through the night. Katarina is coming at 9.30. I think pretty much everyone is coming around 9.30. Not the party guests, the people who are helping me set up the party. I still have a couple of things to do. Let's do this. First things first, my little coral pieces that I made last night, they're now hard. And in theory, they should peel right up off this wax paper. And now I have like this stiff little light weight thing. All right, here they are painted. I think it looks like coral. You know, it might not be the traditional coral colors. I think coral is usually like orangish reddish. It's cute. I think it's gonna get the point across. And I went ahead and painted these little wooden things. I think I got these from the Dollar Tree. This is how the patio turned out. I guess I should update you guys. Essentially, they finished the patio. I think it, it turned out a little bit more of a warm tone gray, like slightly warm tone than what I would have wanted. I can't do anything about it now. I picked the best shade of gray that they offer. Offered. This is what it was. I wish it was just a little bit more cool tone. Like you see the splotches are cool tone, but the kind of like the background is kind of warm tone. It's just concrete. At the end of the day, it is just a concrete patio. It's not like hardwood flooring inside my house. I'm trying not to be too, too picky with it, but they finished it yesterday. It's still curing. I think I said that yesterday. So we just need to be kind of careful with it and not like scrape things across it is the main thing because it's still kind of prone to like scratch I guess because it's not fully cured. I mean, it's definitely dry like you can hear it's dry Nothing's like sticky or wet. They said it should be fine as long as we don't like scrape Big furniture across it or anything like that Which we're gonna be really really careful with how we put all the furniture in place We're gonna do that like at the very last minute to give it just a few more hours to set up I'm also having someone come and help us plant these plants today because that was an outstanding thing And I don't want them just sitting like that for the party. So that's a super last minute thing we're gonna do on both sides. This is kind of like wet and dirty right now, so it doesn't look great. Oh, and then it's supposed to be white to match the house and on this side. It's just like the raw concrete or whatever. And they said that they were going to paint that part for us, like the same guys who did the patio. But then they were like, no, like that's not our job. Like that's not, we're not doing that. I asked three times leading up to this. Are they gonna be the ones who paint it? Are these the painters? Then they come, oh no, we're not doing that. That's another thing that's left unfinished. I am very tempted to take this paint and paint it myself. Cause I mean, how hard can it be? Tape off the stainless steel, tape everything off and paint it. I know I'm capable of doing it myself. It's not rocket science. I would rather not DIY it. I would rather the professionals do it. It's the day of the party. And they're like, last thing they said was, we'll see if we have time to come back out and do it. And I'm like, ain't no time. If you have time, I don't have time. Y'all supposed to do this yesterday. That might be unfinished at the party. That's kind of annoying because that does not look great. It's It would look so much better if it just had the paint on it. Stay tuned. Okay, it's about 8.30 a.m. now. I set up a few more things downstairs, but now I need to bedazzle my outfit. Luckily for me, I have all this stuff left over from when I did Zaya's mermaid costume. So I'm just gonna use some of these pearls and rhinestones and stuff to add a little razzle dazzle to my outfit. And I just have this fabric fusion fabric glue and I'm essentially just going to glue rhinestones and pearls all over these clothes. Okay, so while I'm doing this, my mom just got here and the task rabbit guy that we hired, we just got somebody off a of task rabbit to come over and help plant those plants. We were just gonna do it ourselves but there's just so much going on today. We knew we needed some extra hands and normally like my brother or somebody would help, but he has his own business and he had, I think a client this morning. So we had to like hire people to help, which is fine. I think that's gonna end up working out. So they're out in the backyard planting those plants. This is like my first time really using my new and improved craft room. Like this is the first craft that I'm crafting and it's so nice. Everything is just so organized. Go watch that video if you haven't seen it of how we completely transformed this space. Update, it's 9 a.m. and it's raining. According to the forecast, it's only supposed to rain for a little bit and then stop. I'd rather it be raining now in the morning than later. <laughs> 
the guy was trying to do the plants. Oh, he's right there. He's just sitting under the cover. Hopefully it stops soon. I made a little menu. Surf up sliders, Hangton hot dog, seaweed dip, which is spinach artichoke dip, crabby sandwiches, which are not crab sandwiches, but they just look like crabs, coral queso, which is just regular smoked queso, and seashell pasta, which is pasta salad with the shell shaped pasta. I also made my little signs for the candy things. I'm gonna actually take the candy out of the packages and make it look cute. I did these little signs. This little jar of seashells I got from Dollar Tree came in handy to hold these signs for those two. Chef Tony is trying to make a shark mouth in the watermelon. All you have to do is, if you got there and eat that bread, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> All you have to do is. Never done it before, but it can't be that What about the hard. teeth? You gonna see? On the outside of the mouth. The outside? The teeth are like right here. I have the teeth should be pointing down into the mouth like this. You yeah. cut this first like this, then you cut the teeth into here. You okay. See? They kind of skipped a step. I don't really see how they got from that point to that point. We'll check in later. We also hired another set of task rabbits to go and pick up the tables that I rented from the rental place because we don't have a truck to be able to pick it up. So we hired someone who had a truck to go pick it up for us and bring it over here. And they just got here. Here's one. I've rented little tiny kids chairs. And then there's a table that goes with that. Meanwhile, while the pool vacuum is going to clean up the last bits of the pool so it's fresh and clean. The sun came out, it's getting warm. The pool water is warm because the heater is working. Grammy is trying to make sure there's not one speck of dirt in there. They're bringing the tables out. This is a real event, y'all. We got multiple people here. Katarina is here now too. Hey girl, she's putting the drinks out. And Katarina brought me Starbucks. Perks of having an assistant. I barely ate yesterday. I had like three bites of salad yesterday, literally. That was it. I was running on fumes and imagination yesterday. This is really hitting the spot. Time check, it's 1046. This is what everything is looking like. Looks chaotic still, but definitely making progress. Outside is really coming together. I'm excited. We got furniture. We got the rental tables. And I'm starting to put all the balloons and everything in place. And then just trying to clean up all this stuff. And of course we're gonna set the the food out last, but kind of just prepping everything. Here's how the shark is. His mouth looks a bloody mess. It looks good. Oh, those are the fins. You're gonna put eyes on top? Yeah. You excited, Zaya? Is it coming together? You like it so far? Okay, as per usual, I am rushing around, running late, but I'm ready. I have my mermaid outfit on. Hopefully I'll get to show y'all a better look. I waved my hair, did a little bit of makeup, and now let me try to get some footage of this party before everybody starts eating everything. And the balloons are already popping, so as per usual, the balloons looked great about an hour ago, but the heat and the wind and the sun and everything has halfway destroyed them, so y'all just gonna have to imagine how it was supposed to look, because it was really cute. But when you walk in, I have the treat bag ready to go for when people leave. Some lays here, if people wanna put one on. We've just got balloons everywhere. This is my balloons. These are the ones that died. It used to be like two little mermaid tails and then the six was all cute standing up, but they keep falling over. And then we have these clusters here. The six is barely hanging on. And then this tail also trying to hang on. I was dying 
Corpus Christi. I was fishing. I was fishing. Trying to catch me some red snapper. Sure enough, this mermaid swam over to my boat and she asked me, what's it like on land? So I told her, well, if you really want to know what it's like on land, you got to come with me. And she said, okay. So all I did was I'd let her jump into the boat with me and we drove back. So we live in Austin and I built a big tank for her. Hello everybody, it's me again. <laughs> Who wants to play a game with the mermaid? What we're gonna do is we're gonna play a game where I, I'm gonna play some music, pass this around, and then I'm gonna okay. stop the music. And if you're holding this when I stop the music, then you gotta do a big splash in the pool. However you do your big splash is up to you. Okay. And she's gonna pass it around. Okay, I'm <laughs> Let me see what's in your fish bowl. You got some sharks in there. What do you have in yours? Add some sharks too in there. Got it. Okay, quick outfit change. I put my swimsuit bottoms on. I'm just gonna leave this on. It's a swimsuit anyway, so I can actually get in the pool. And this will actually be my first time ever getting in my own pool. I have not gotten into it at all yet. So let's go get in my new pool for the first time as a mermaid. I think the mermaid is about to show us some tricks, Aya. I think she's gonna do some tricks. Kids are asking the mermaid all types of questions. Do you want to make your treasure chest now? Okay, we have glitter paint in here. You can put it in here. We have paint markers, stickers. You can put that with the glue stick. What are you gonna put on yours, Zaya? Ooh, pretty. Has glitter in it. There's brushes right here and markers. If markers are easier. Okay, let's go over here. Let's. Uh, you're gonna sit by the cake over here. We're gonna sing over here on this table. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Happy birthday to you. Take the sticks off. Oh, okay, well, they got mermaids and stuff gotta come off in here. Okay, you can have that. Whoa, I'm gonna keep passing them over. Is it good? Did you taste the cake even? Taste it. Wow, look at all those presents. Say cheese. Hello. Okay, pick which one you want to open first. Whoa. Oh, that's from you! That was a perfect gift, Casey. Let me see, Zaya. 
Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Oh, a bunch of outfits. Crawfish party, after party. I like it. It's my first time seeing crawfish in real life. And I tasted it, and it was okay. After the party is the after party. Mom's gone wild. Not really. This is about as wild as we get one little, truly.